happy February 1st. Here we are already in the second month of the new year. It is flying by as normal, I guess. And as we think about our time, our calendar, our agendas, I want to jump off of a point that uh, Pastor Jeremy made in his sermon on Sunday. I was reading from uh, Luke 4, 43, which says, They tried to keep Jesus uh, from leaving them, but he said, I must proclaim the good news to the next towns, and, and on and on. I was thinking about our agendas versus, let's call it God's agenda. And let's think about that time, uh, that moment there in Luke chapter 4, when Jesus was... Uh, so popular. I mean, he really had it all as far as uh, any anybody in the world would, would think of it. Uh, people were just coming to him from everywhere uh, to just to see him, to hear him teach. And he was certainly charismatic and engaging uh, speaker and very, you know, life application you know, lessons people could take home. Uh, so much, so much wisdom from him. And then he could do really amazing things, right? Demons and diseases answered to his demands. Uh, injuries, illnesses, and ailments listened to when he spoke and you know obeyed his commands. And so obviously word just spread about this Jesus. And so lines of people uh, waited to see him, and the lines just grew longer and longer. And the time that Jesus spent helping and healing uh, stretched from sunrise to sunset and sometimes even longer than that. And the people were so excited that this could finally be the one. This could be the Messiah, the Savior, the Deliverer that they've been waiting for. And who wouldn't want a Savior like that? One who could just solve problems like cancer or cataracts or even COVID. I mean, one with whom you uh, would never be hungry or thirsty again. It, I mean, if we had been there, let's be real. I mean, wouldn't we have been right with those crowds? Like, Don't leave us, Jesus. I mean, you make our lives in this world better, easier. I mean, we want you to stick around, Jesus. And I kind of wonder why wouldn't Jesus want that kind of love and attention? Well, Jesus revealed a different agenda. And he said, I must proclaim the good news. This is really important that we understand. Jesus did not come primarily to feed the hungry or heal the hurting. Jesus came to share the good news and to really even fulfill it. I mean, good news that there's more to this life than this life. Good news that he came to rescue all of us from hunger and hurt permanently, right? By giving us eternal life in heaven. And even though we easily chase after worldly happiness, Jesus was not going to let fame or fortune distract him from his divine agenda. And so he was willing to face rejection, ridicule, even pain on his way to suffer and die for every greedy intention and desire that we have. And because he did, we can look forward to something so much better than an easy life in this world. We have the perfect life waiting for us with him in heaven, a life that will never end. So Jesus loves you and he cares about your problems in this life too. And his real agenda though is to accomplish and to proclaim the good news of eternal life for you, for me, uh, for everybody. And that's exactly what he did. So let's believe it and let's celebrate it. And let's pray before we start our day. Oh, Jesus, dear Jesus, your agenda is so much better than ours. Thank you for staying the course for us. Amen. All right. Amen. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon.